Ever wondered who's giving Microsoft sleepless nights in the world of AI? Meet Demis Hasebis, the brain behind DeepMind. But what's his journey been like from mastering AI to advising governments? Let's explore the fascinating story of this British AI whiz and find out why Microsoft might be watching closely. Let's rewind a bit to Demis' early life. He comes from an eclectic background, with a Greek Cypriot father and a Chinese Singaporean mother. Growing up in North London, he displayed his chess prowess from the tender age of four. By the time he was 13, he was already considered a chess master with an impressive ELO rating of 2300. He even captained several England junior chess teams. Plus, he represented the University of Cambridge in the Oxford Cambridge Varsity chess matches of 1995, 1996, and 1997, securing a half blue in the process. During a period of homeschooling, Demis acquired his first computer, a ZX Spectrum 48K, thanks to his chess winnings. He decided to teach himself programming through books, setting the stage for his tech journey. Subsequently, he attended Christ's College in Finchley, a state-funded comprehensive school in North London, where he completed his A-levels and scholarship-level exams at a remarkable pace, finishing by the ages of 15 and 16. After taking a gap year, Demis began his career in computer games at Bullfrog Productions, by 17, he co-designed the hit game Theme Park, funding his own university education. After graduating from Cambridge with top honors in 1997, he joined Lionhead Studios as the lead AI programmer for Black and White, teaming up with Peter Molyneux once again. Demis decided to leave Lionhead in 1998 and set up his own game development studio called Elixir Studios in London. He even struck deals with big names like Eidos Interactive, Vivendi Universal, and Microsoft to publish his games. Demis wore multiple hats here. Not only did he manage the company, but he also played a significant role in designing games that even got nominated for BAFTA awards like Republic, The Revolution, and Evil Genius. Republic, The Revolution aimed to simulate a fictional country's politics with AI causing delays and an underwhelming release with a 62 out of 100 Metacritic score. In contrast, Evil Genius, a tongue-in-cheek Bond villain game, performed well with a score of 75 out of 100. Sadly, Elixir Studios closed in April 2005, selling their assets and marking the end of their gaming journey. After his stint at Elixir Studios, Demis took a detour back to the world of academics. He decided to pursue a PhD in Cognitive Neuroscience at UCL, otherwise known as University College London, which he completed in 2009. Eleanor Maguire was his guiding star during this academic adventure. What was his goal? to find inspiration from the human brain to create new and innovative AI algorithms. But Demis didn't stop there. He continued his research journey by working as a visiting scientist, splitting his time between MIT and Tommaso Paggio's lab and Harvard University. In 2009, he earned a Henry Wellcome Postdoctoral Research Fellowship at the Gatsby Computational Neuroscience Unit at UCL, collaborating with Peter Dayan. He researched imagination, memory, and amnesia, publishing influential papers in prestigious journals like Nature, Science, Neuron, and PNAS. One groundbreaking study in PNAS revealed that brain damage to the hippocampus, linked to memory issues, also affected the ability to imagine new experiences. Demis further explored this connection using fMRI in another study, proposing a novel theory on how our brains handle complex scenes in memory and imagination. His work gained significant attention in the media and was even recognized as one of the top 10 scientific breakthroughs of the year by the journal Science. Later on, Demis expanded these ideas to introduce the concept of a simulation engine of the mind. This engine, as he described it, helps us imagine different events and scenarios to improve our planning skills. So Demis Asabis was on a quest to unravel the mysteries of our minds and use that knowledge to enhance artificial intelligence. Demis Hesebis, CEO and co-founder of DeepMind, a machine learning and AI startup, established the company in 2010 in London with Shane Legg and Mustafa Suleiman. Hesebis and Legg met during postdoc research at the Gatsby Computational Neuroscience Unit. Hesebis and Suleiman already had a prior connection due to family ties. To promote the team, Demis enlisted his university friend and Elixir partner David Silver. Now let's get to the heart of DeepMind's mission. What was their grand goal? solving intelligence and then using that intelligence to tackle a wide range of challenges. They want to crack the code of how our brains work and apply that knowledge to solve all kinds of problems. They're not just dreaming big, they're also actively working on it. DeepMind blends insights from brain function with cutting-edge machine learning and computing hardware to pursue AGI, otherwise known as artificial general intelligence, capable of versatile tasks like a human. 
Their early success included training a deep Q network algorithm to excel at Atari games, reaching superhuman performance using only raw screen pixels as input in December 2013. When DeepMind was just starting out, it caught the attention of some big-name tech entrepreneurs who became early investors. Fast forward to 2014, Google saw something special in DeepMind, purchasing it for a light 400 million pounds. While most of the company has stayed independent and rooted in London, DeepMind Health merged with Google Health. Since the Google takeover, DeepMind has achieved some remarkable milestones. One that stands out is the creation of AlphaGo, a program that did something considered almost impossible. It defeated the world champion Lee Settle in the ancient and complex game of Go. Why was this such a big deal? Go is a game with an astronomical number of possible board positions, and it has always stumped AI programmers. But AlphaGo made history by not only beating the European champion Fan Hui 5-0, but also defeating former world champion Lee Settle with a score of 4-1. DeepMind didn't stop there. They also came up with something called a neural Turing machine, a fancy name for a smart system that can learn and reason like a human. Plus, they've been eco-friendly superheroes by reducing the energy used in Google's data centers for cooling by a whopping 40%. DeepMind not only focuses on AI safety research but collaborates with the NHS and Moorfields Eye Hospital to enhance medical services and detect eye issues early. They tackled the complex challenge of protein folding aiming to predict 3D structures from 1D amino acid sequences. This breakthrough is vital because proteins are essential for life's functions and understanding their structure is key to understanding their roles. In December 2018, DeepMind's AlphaFold astounded the scientific community by accurately predicting the structure of 25 out of 43 proteins in the 13th CSP. This lighthouse project, led by Demis Hasebis, marked a significant resource commitment. In November 2020, DeepMind achieved a remarkable median GDT score of 87 in TASP 14's challenging free modeling category. Their predictions closely match reality, with an error smaller than an atom's width, revolutionizing protein understanding alongside experimental methods. DeepMind excels in machine learning with award-winning papers, pioneering deep reinforcement learning. Demis Hasebis, DeepMind's visionary, sees AI as a game-changer but emphasizes addressing ethical challenges. In 2023, he signed a statement advocating AI risk prevention alongside global concerns like pandemics and nuclear threats. While he values AI's potential benefits like healthcare advancements and climate change solutions, he stresses the urgency of research to ensure AI's capabilities and control are measured and safeguarded as it evolves. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our AI adventures.